One, two, three. Get it. Both my mother and father come from artistically inclined families. My mother's family more on the music side. And my father's family, we have both musicians and artists, visual artists. Um, so that's where I get my artistic ability. And I've been drawing and painting since I could hold a pencil or a brush. I did my art on the side, but never really knew how to get into it. And there was always the fear of how do you drop a constant paycheck and become an artist. There was still kind of something nagging like, You've worked for other people for such a long time, and you're really good at art. Why haven't you figured out what to do yet with your art and your you know, business knowledge at this point? What can you do? And a friend had told me about an experience she had out in Denver, Colorado, at a place where you went and you painted and you had some wine. I started researching what she was talking about and went to the website of the place that she'd gone to out in Denver, and I was just like, I can do this. I can absolutely do this. Opening Artinis is not only important to me to make a living using my talent and knowledge, but it's important to me because it's my passion and that I get to share it with people, bringing art to people, making it more accessible and not scary or intimidating, which I think a lot of times it can be. And I love sharing what I love with people. I love that so many people seek out doing something creative on a Friday night using the side of their brain that they might not use all the time. I can help and I am my pen long after I wait till the radio leave you in my life. I want you right this second. So hurry up, Brando. Hurry up, Brando. Hurry up, Brando. Hurry up, Brando. I don't care if it's you, you bad thing. Moving to Athens definitely helped my decision to open my own business. I would have been terrified to have tried something like this in Atlanta. The drive of the community and small business that I think affords people to do this kind of thing in Athens. Small business, it, it drives Athens. The community drives Athens. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. I can't help but cry at every cheesy pop song. Lots of community support, but what I also enjoy is I can support the community. You know, we'll do fundraising nights, percentage nights for local charities and organizations. At the same time, I show art here, so I support the local arts. Um, we have receptions once a month and wine and food and music. And So far, their experience has been like, wow, this is what I've put out in the past year or two and seeing it all in one space kind of helps them see the journey they've been on with their art. We had our first um, summer of art camps this year and they were one week long and we painted a different painting every day. The kids have a blast and the parents love that the kids actually learn about art. <laughs> This is not for the seasoned artist. Of course, the seasoned artist is welcome, and they'll take their painting to an entirely different level. But the basic gist of this is it's meant for people who just want to have some fun with paint to come in and have a good time. Everyone has their own individual style, you know, be it clothing or whatever. You also have individual handwriting. It's going to translate to your canvas. You're going to have your own original piece of art, although we're all doing the same subject. It's been worth every nauseous day. <laughs> Eventually that kind of subsides once you're like, oh my gosh, I'm doing it.
that eventually subsides and you're like, I'm doing it. We are Artinis and we create Athens. It looks like... <laughs> 